hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to 2022 i thought i'd begin the year with something different maybe do a video like this um please do let me know if you like this or you want to go back to the previous way where i just show a video and just speak in the background um i would really appreciate your feedback let's talk about our favorite stock abml um a lot has happened in the last year um, of course, this year, I, we know that, that it's going to be even bigger. Um, the factory is due to be operational in Q2, I believe, but the sooner the better. But I wanted to talk to you about something else today. I believe this year will be a huge catalyst for AVML. And there are a couple of reasons for it. I'm going to go step by step or point by point of what I think are the big catalysts for AVML. So let's get into it. So point number one would be awareness. As we know, the EV bandwagon is hot and running. A huge fleet of EVs are about to hit or crowd our roads. And what do EVs need? They need battery metals, lithium, cobalt to run basically. So we're going to see that battery metals are quickly either going to replace or become as important as oil and gas are for our modes of transportation. We can already see that China is far ahead in the game when it comes to preserving or securing the access or the rights to um, precious battery metals when it comes to EVs. Um, they have already secured or signed a deal with Congo worth billions of dollars where they basically get claims to their cobalt reserves in exchange to fund infrastructure like hospitals and railways in, in Congo. We know how the Chinese deals work. Everyone knows by now. Um, but the point I'm getting to is that it's dangerous to let one country have a huge power over the reserves of battery metals especially now that we know that they're going to be very very important for our modes of transportation not just evs but trains our, our electricity our phones everything is connected to battery metals so avml is very important because they are in the business to supply battery metals to the usa especially it's a u.s company so i believe this year is really important and as the awareness grows that battery metals are really really important this will be a huge year and hopefully it will reflect in the stock price so let's go to best performing asset of 2022 what do you got Shama? this is simple this will be battery metals uh lithium nickel cobalt okay graphite put Rock them in a fire. basket the next point is supply chain 2021 was a big wake-up call when it came to um, the world being aware of how little control they have um, when it comes to securing assets. As the supply chain issues continue, the government and the automakers are investing heavily to ramp up reserves for battery metals. This is a very positive and I believe a really important blowout factor for AVML. I don't see AVML having any issues to secure customers, provided that their factory is fully completed by Q2 this year. I also see there's a potential that AVML may be acquired either by one of the automotive companies or a energy company. Um, their business is so dynamic that it fits nearly in every field. Uh, so getting back to the um, acquiring, I, I, I can also see ABML getting acquired um, for their proprietary battery recycling process and their um, huge mining claims in Nevada. All in all, this is very good for ABML. Let's talk about the stock price now. Since the December sell-off, the stock price thankfully has been recovering. We have seen a nearly 2% increase in the share price um, in the last two trading days. So that's a good, very, very good news. In my opinion, ABML is a long-term play. This is not a swing trade for me. This is a good two to three year 
play um, that can give massive returns if the investor is willing to be patient. The battery metal market is hot and ready to run. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please hit your like button. Um, and if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you.